Hello. I was one of those fortunate nurses who worked through the pandemic. Like most of you, I became a witness to the most devastating event in recent years, now known as the coronavirus pandemic. For over a year, we hunkered down and stayed glued to our TV sets and smartphones, and we absorbed every minute of the devastation around us. We watched in horror what the COVID virus was doing to our families, friends, and to all the communities locally and globally. We became real-time social media witnesses to the soaring and seemingly endless challenges as we watched the statistics rise in front of us. Because of all this images of the hospital and on TV, I wondered often and would shiver thinking about what emotional and mental impact COVID will bring when it was over. I decided early on that I will champion and initiate a support therapy group in my place of work. However, I quickly came to the conclusion that although the spirit is willing, the spirit has to have tools to accomplish what it wanted to do. The Kabbalikat Emotional Wellness Program was an answer to my prayer. I joined the Kabbalikat Program as a facilitator for our chapter and couldn't be more honored to learn and soak in the knowledge shared by our super excellent Kabbalikat leaders and speakers, Dr. Sherwin Imperio and Dr. Eileen O'Grady. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. What I learned from both of you is truly indelible. First, you helped me realize the value of self-awareness and thus enhance my thoughts on self-care. Never before has this phrase, filling one's cup, meant clearer to me. The discussions about filling one's cup, not by material things, but by things that sustain us in our daily lives, that most of us don't notice or don't really have time for or don't really make time for were crucial to me. Meditation through daily prayers was one that I realized had centered most of the people that were in my group discussions with me, and in, it included me. It is so gratifying to learn through group discussions that I am not alone in most of my thoughts on what stresses me and on how I handled stress. From the lectures, I learned about stress residuals and gained understanding on the significance of controlling stress as soon as possible and not wait until it burns all of us down. The group discussions made me realize I am not alone and that most share the same thoughts, ambiguities, and uncertainties in life. The adverse childhood events was a great revelation tool for me. This new knowledge will surely equip me as I venture onward on my facilitator role. The theory of well-being was carefully explained and enhance my own primary thoughts and ideas about it. More than ever, it validated how and what I had always strived to achieve, which is to bring meaning and purpose to my life. In conclusion, the Kabbalikat Emotional Wellness Program under the leadership of Dr. Risa Marishu had enriched me and made me a better CEO of my life. Starting with awareness and working on agility and improving on my agencies. I am looking forward to imparting this newly acquired knowledge and hope to help members survive and strive amidst the challenges left behind, not only by COVID, but by the daily stresses that we have managed to stay hidden, but not totally manage all throughout our life. Thank you all for this new lease on my emotional and mental life. My name is Elena De Jesus, president of PNA Northwest Indiana and a member of PNAA since 2000, and a proud chapter facilitator of the Kabbalikat Emotional Wellness Program 2023. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.